All right, people, welcome back. More card view. So you're like, wait a minute. You already did a Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon on Monday. Well, to go ahead and make up for my huge, huge mistake for daily duels in the previous day, I mean, by gods, by go bygones, but still, uh, you're going to get two card reviews today. So uh, I'm going to go back and look at Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon one more time and, uh, you know, go ahead and talk about the couple of things that I missed. And then we will also bring another card review that's also uploaded at the same time. So if you want to go ahead and check that out as well, be sure to. Anyway, back to Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. So, uh, when I did the card review on my Monday, I mean, I thought he was a pretty good card. You know, take your opponent's monster, you know, both of them will hit your opponent directly for a nice 6k. I mean, it's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. It just sucks that you gotta give it back. Or do you? Uh, there's actually a little bit of a, a loophole that I totally forgot. It went whoop right over my head, but now I'm like, alright. So, as you know, uh, you touch XC material, target a face-up monster opponent controls, uh, you take it, the effects are negated, and its name becomes Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, correct? What happens if you take an XC monster and turn its name into Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, hmm? Yes. You know, thinking, like, can you do it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can go ahead and put full armor or uh, dark matter right on top of your opponent's monster, and you get to keep it. It's, it's yours. It's yours permanently, you know? It's not the same monster. You can't return a monster that's not even on the field anymore, you know? It's yours now. Uh, you haven't seen... I haven't seen this kind of, like, shenaniganery since freaking Mind Control, take your opponent's Utopia, and then slap a lightning or slap a freaking... Well, back then it was Ray, just to keep it, you know? You would just put Ray in your extra deck just so you, you could take your opponent's uh, Utopia and turn it into Ray just so they wouldn't get it back. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the same boat. So, take an Exceed Monster, and it is pretty much yours because, you know, its name will become Galaxy Eyes. You know, Full Armor and, and Dark Matter are like, hey, you got a Galaxy Eyes Exceed Monster? Slap me on top, boy. And it's like, there you go. Done. It's mine now. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's nice that they say that um, uh, mon other monsters you control cannot attack directly for the rest of the turn. Because, uh, you know, depending on how that went down, uh, you could probably game your opponent. Think about it. They have, like, an XC monster, right? They have, an, like, a Castell with no XC material. You summon this. Take the Castell. It's then becomes Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon 3000. You slap on, like, a full armor. Then you slap off a full armor on this, too. Those are two, 4,000 beaters. Tack, tack, 8,000. That's game, you know? So, mmm, the shenaniganeries are real. But, uh, that's not it. That's not it. I actually want to go ahead and talk about the anime version. Tiago actually brought this to my attention. He was like, it's not very often that the real version is better than the anime version. Like, can you believe that? Usually it's like, oh my god, the anime version is freaking broken. Like, as soon as they make it a card, it gets nerfed, it gets restricted. It's not even nearly as good. But no, no, Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon is actually better. So, the anime version reads, Once per turn, you can attach one extreme material from this card, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Alright, pretty much the same thing. Take control of it to the end phase. Mm-hmm. While you control that monster by its effect, its name becomes Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. Alright. Its attack becomes the same as this card. That's that's a little bit different, you know. The real card says three thousand. You know, no matter what, it'll be three thousand. This the when you take the monster, its attack becomes the same as this card. So, for example, if you have this Galaxy Cypher Dragon equipped with like an Axe Despair at four thousand, you go ahead and take it. Its attack becomes the same as this card. This card was at four thousand. When you take your opponent's monster and it becomes Galaxy Cypher Dragon, it's four thousand. So you're like, all right, that's a little bit better. All right. But uh, here, here's here's the here's the way you draw the line. It cannot attack directly, and its effects are negated. So of course the effects are negated still. That's fine. But it cannot attack directly. Like I never noticed that in the anime. But in the anime, Kite doesn't attack anybody directly. He usually just takes their monsters and proceeds to fuck up their monsters with the power of his multiple Galaxy Eye Sapphire Dragons. But the fact that it cannot attack directly in the anime makes it a little bit worse than you know the real life one. The real life one says nothing about attacking directly. If I take your one monster. And turn it to a 3,000, and I hit you with that and this for 6,000, I mean, you get it, you know? But, no, the, the monster that you take cannot attack directly. So, in exchange for its attack becoming the same as this card, it cannot attack directly. So, as long as you're fucking up some monsters, I mean, that's some power, because, I mean, this will be 3,000 Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon that you take will be 3,000. You can go ahead and equip it with, like, you know, an Axe of Despair, go up to 4,000, so this will be 4,000, and the monster you take will be 3,000. But, uh, you know, with with the anime one, you know, I summon Galaxy of Cypher Dragon, equip it Axe of Despair, I'm 4,000, detach, take your monster, now it's 4,000. I can't attack directly, but I got two 4,000 beaters, at least till the end of the turn, so, you know, they both have their ups and downs, but i definitely say that the real one is better, because I can attack directly with it. You know, the anime version, it's like, I can't attack directly with it. What if you have some monsters that uh, and I can't go for game. That sucks. So, yeah. 
So this time the actual real card turns out to be the better version. And uh, looking forward to seeing some shenanigans with it, uh, maybe soon, you know, depending on what TI wants to do with it or any other uh, Galaxy Eyes player photons. So uh, there you go. There is your uh, second card review. Like I said, I, I apologize for Daily Duels being like, that was literally all my fault. Like, I had no excuse. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'll, talk, I'll be talking more about it in Daily Duels today. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in for another card review. I should... Like I said, you get two, so make sure you check out the other one as well. Uh, thank you, Tiago, for uh, suggesting the card and uh, giving me some more tips to talk about. And uh, looking forward to doing a, another card review next week on Monday. So, alright people, thanks for watching.